Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 14 by 14 inch canvas in front of you. And I think I'm going to move that for a second. And this weird little, I think it's a Japanese hot towel holder for a sushi bar. Anyway, so I have some paint I need to use up. I don't know how this is going to work, but I have to try it once. And before I try it on a larger surface, I'm going to try it on a smaller one. I'm going to throw some of my favorite colors in here and some of these colors that I didn't wind up using that will not turn to mud because there's nothing muddy about them. So I have also got other colors I love. I can't wait to find out how this works and I'm going to keep a Princeton, ooh that's not clean, I'm going to keep a Princeton art tool candle and spatula handy. Good thing I have two of the flat front ones. Those are available on my Amazon link underneath the video link. Underneath the video. <laughs> under under show more. When you open show more, you can find the Amazon link. Yeah, I'm discombobulated for sure. I'm supposed to be trying to use up these bottles of paint, the smaller ones. I am just having too much fun. I have just begun to use cobalt blue. Have I? And I think that's it. I don't know how much paint I can actually sneak into this. I think I might be pretty close to being done, but I'm going to put some black in there. It's sort of like a dustpan pour is my intention, but we'll see how that goes. I don't have any orange in there, and if I don't use orange, I'm going to want either some magenta or some red orange. I think that's it right there. Let's make sure it's shook. Yeah, something to really pop it. And as long as I'm going there, let's just make it really sing. Let's go the whole rainbow gamut. Why not? Can I still see my favorite neon folk art? Pretty well. I'm doing it. All right, so next, next I'm going to move that out of the way and bring back my canvas and give you a very brief demonstration of what my OXO omelet turning spatula will do. And I'm going to use some black paint. I'm going to make sure it's dry. Black paint on the background. The black paint or the white paint or whatever color paint you're using on the background is mostly supposed to be made, meant to um, make the other paint you add on the surface slide. But the problem I have is once I start spatuling it into place, I like what I get and, um, <laughs> and I sort of stop with whatever my plan was and go ahead and call it good. I think the glasses that I had a moment ago would be excellent to look through. Oh, there they are. Yep. I don't know why I ever take them off. But this time, I'm not going to give myself the opportunity to save what I've got here. And I am just going to tip it right over across that canvas. And I'm not doing my edges because I want to be able to manipulate it. I don't know if this is how this is going to happen. Maybe I'll go crossways. Yeah, I think so. Let's just keep on going with that plan right there. I see that thing that does not belong. I'm getting plenty of paint coming out of that pan. Not the least bit unhappy about that. I'm going to use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. Just like the squeegee it can be. Didn't waste much paint at all. And into the bucket, I wonder. Do I have a round front? No, I cleaned it off. So I'm going to take my paint. I did tape up my ends of that towel holder. Maybe 
I'll just use it to dump some other paint back into before I figure out what else is happening. Going diagonal. Just dumping paint right off. Because I can. The name of the book I wrote that's now on my Amazon link below the video. Oh, I'm very painty. Very, very. I have to rinse. Sorry, guys. I need a moment to recover. That was a lot more paint than I expected. I should have expected that. But, I like what I've got. I'm going to let some of that fall right over on this edge. Perfect. It's doing its own thing already. I could put a little gold down there. It wouldn't hurt my feelings. Let's see. A little gold down there. Push some toward the edge. Yep, I like that. Just use my finger. Got some beautiful gold lacing up here. I like that orange, but I want some gold in there. <laughs> so I'm going to steal paint like I always do. Trust me to steal paint. I like that orange. I like that there isn't a ton of it, too. But I'm going to put some right there because I can. Also in the Amazon link, at no added cost to you, below the video, below show more, are the gold mica powder that I mix with DecoArt Pouring Medium and GAC 800 to prevent cracking, and some Floetrol. It's sort of like, I just like it so much better than gold paint. It, uh, it has wonderful shimmer and it has a lot of lacing that happens like this. So the question for me is, what else do I want to do? I'd like some more lacing and I'm, I'm wondering if I can hit it with the torch. I'm just off camera. I'm so sorry. That's where my paint pan is. And I'm going to hit it with the torch. But first, <laughs> it says, you can't trust me. I'm going to take my favorite color shift by Folk Art and go right over here and add some of that up in that corner where nothing makes sense. And throw some other paint along there too. I really like that red and I'm surprised that I like it. It's going to be darker tomorrow. I think what I want, yeah, because I know the pink often disappears, I'm going to use it as a catalyst to pull some paint. I've got skewers, I've got chains, everything is calling me right now. There's my torch. Let's give it a shot. Yes, we are getting some small cells popping right up. I use the torch mostly to try and remove the bubbles from the paint because the paint is pre-mixed with Decor Pouring Medium and Floetrol and GAC 800 and shaken. There's a marble in my bottles. I'm not somebody who wants to spend a lot of time mixing paint every time I want to paint. I'm pretty happy with how those colors turned out. I have some others in the dish next to me, which I may use to touch up the edges, or may not. I do seem to be heating the paint rather thoroughly, so I better be careful I don't burn it. It's definitely and very much so uh, in the school of accidental art. I'm trying to decide. Oh, somebody's calling me. Ten to one, it's a telemarketer. And they do go away. My phone, my Samsung has a has an ability to get rid of telemarketers, which I so appreciate. <laughs> Alright, as much as I love that orange there, it's almost gone, and I think the purple isn't gonna hurt my feelings. And I have a semi-clean skewer. And I'm gonna roll sideways. I'm gonna pick up the paint that I see on my tile and use it to touch up my edges. Whoa, there's a lot of paint. 
Okay, well that's to be expected because I was dumping paint kind of raciously, so I have purple over here and nothing on the edge of my canvas, so if I put some paint on now, while it's still quite thick, it will sort of blend and help me cover my edges. That was the wrong fingerful. So I'm going to throw some of my favorite color. My new favorite color is this folk art um, color shift. I can't remember the name of it. Wow, where is it? It's um, It says it's blue flash. So I hope that's true. I hope I can get some more because the blue flash that I've got in the other room doesn't look like it. And I've got all kinds of paint that looks somewhat similar to what I've got on my edges, so I'm going to use it. Everything over here is pretty copacetic. I've got a little more naked canvas over here. I'm going to tap that weird, weird edge into place. I may even use my fingers. Oh, I got some beautiful colors right there. You know what? Those colors are going right there. I'm going to use my spatula. There's a lot of gold in there. It's a beautiful blue. I feel like changing out my tile, but I can't really get at it at the moment. So pardon my mess. I like that black. I kind of want some more, so I'll give myself permission to have some more. And it'll just be you and me that know that I put that in there. Got a lot of paint, but I'm not unhappy with this at all. It's definitely crazy cool. One more go around with the torch. I got no cells in that little spot. That's kind of bugging me. And I've got all kinds of, I'll tell you what, let's just take the basting brush and dip it into some colors and gently deposit them right there because I can. Oh, and I just found out I have an whole entire edge that has nothing on it. <laughs> I'm going to do the same exact thing right there. Getting pretty good at faking out the edges a lot of times. In any case, I like that. It didn't take an awful long time to do. Um, I'm not sure if I will put that amount of paint in next time because obviously I have a lot to spare. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but I could make some incredible skins, skins you can make jewelry out of. I haven't made jewelry yet. Um, I'm kind of busy. <laughs> I think I want something else in there. What do I want in there? I like that orange. Here goes my crib sheet. My crib sheet is going to tell me to tell you. Please give me a thumbs up. I do sell my artwork. I'm not sure I wanted that dark line in there, but it does, I don't think in the long run it's going to be a big deal. I could hope not. Maybe some more of that pink will help. And some tubing. To blend. I've got one dot. <laughs> How strange is that? All right, there's enough of every color in there. And so I'm gonna tell you in the last 20 seconds of this video, if you wanna find my playlist, you'll find it right there on the end screen. And there's over 440 videos there. Also, there is a place where you can visit my website with an up-to-date Instagram link. There's uh, at the bottom of the video under the, at the bottom of the description under the video, there are Facebook albums, volumes one, two, and three when you get there. And they have YouTube wet and dry artworks for my videos. There is Pinterest and Instagram. If you decide you'd like to be a contributor to the studio, you will be entered in a contest where you'll, if your name is drawn, you'll be able to choose from one of one of three or four paintings. Yes, I'm tripping over my tongue, as per usual. And I'm trying to trying to work and think 
and it's maybe not the easiest thing in the world for me to do. The recipe for my paint pouring mixture is under the video in the description also. I love this painting. It's actually beautiful. Uh, what else? My art is for sale. I give classes in Spring Hill. Uh, either one of those two things, you can contact me through YouTube and talk to me. If you want to shop for clothing with t-shirts, t-shirts, uh, sweatshirts, other stuff, Teespring is immediately under the video. And uh, I've got studio slogans on there and some of my favorite artworks, and there will be more as time goes on. Yes, I had to waggle. Oh well, never mind. I'm not so sure about that white line, but I'm sure nobody else will care. Except for me. Okay, so I gotta do what I gotta do. Where'd my purple go? There's my purple. Camouflage. Um, I've told you pretty much everything I need to tell you, other than on my Facebook pages, if you go there, there's a, an Expressionist Art Studio Appreciation Group. There are um, links to shop products with my stuff on them which are pretty cool, from Pixels and Fine Art America and Curios. So I want to say thank you so much to all the people who have contributed to keep me painting so far, and all the people who make my day with their wonderful comments. Thank you for your appreciation. I really value it very much. And uh, I love you all very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Anon. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying bye for now. Priscilla out.